Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm doing the holiday question tag. This is a tag video that was created by Makeup Queenie 68 and Stacy Lee Beauty. I'm subscribed to Makeup Queenie's channel and I watch most of her videos, but I didn't know Stacy until this tag video came out. Somehow I missed when Makeup Queenie posted her video originally. I think it must have been when I was sick with the flu. So the first time I saw this tag was when my sweet friend Wendy from My Life Wendy did her tag video. I just loved hearing all of Wendy's answers to these questions. And then this morning, my other really good friend, Jeannie from Get This Glowing, posted her tag video. And she had some really great answers to the questions too. Jeannie tagged me to do this video and I thought it was such a fun tag. I'm really excited to be doing it. So I've got my questions right here in front of me. I printed them out so I wouldn't have to be taking my reading glasses off and on the whole video. Let's get started. Question number one, did you shop on Black Friday? No, I didn't. I worked all day on Black Friday. When I work, I work 12 hour shifts, so I was at work all day. But I wouldn't have shopped on Black Friday even if I hadn't been at work. I don't like going shopping even at the slowest of times. I especially would not go shopping in those crowds. I did go out a few times on Black Friday when my boys were little, but other than that, I really have never gone out on Black Friday. I used to work in retail before I became a nurse, and of course I was always working on Black Friday then, and I've always worked on Black Friday pretty much since then. Nowadays, I do almost all of my shopping online, and if there had been something I really wanted for the Black Friday sales online, my husband could have ordered it for me, but I really didn't see anything that I needed or really wanted. So, nope, no Black Friday shopping for me. Question number two, Christmas cookies or candy? Definitely Christmas cookies. I'm not a big sweet eater, but I do love cookies, especially during the Christmas season. I love all the Christmas cookies that everyone makes, and, and I just think that they're so good. I love rich, buttery cookies. Yeah, definitely cookies. Question number three, real or faux tree? Well, it depends on what time of my life you're asking. Right now, I have a faux tree. It's We're remodeling our house, so I actually just have a little three-foot tabletop faux tree. But mm, the last few years, we've had a faux tree. I've had live trees off and on, especially when my boys were little. We had live trees most of the time then. And when I was growing up, we always had faux trees. So it's just, it's kind of back and forth for me. I think I'll probably have faux trees most of the time for from now on. I've kind of gotten to where I don't really like the whole, I know that there are recycling programs for, for live trees, but I just feel like that if you have too many of them, there's really, there's only so much pine mulch that people want to use and I feel like they're going to waste. But anyway, it's, it's a personal decision. I've just kind of decided to go with the faux trees, I think from now on. Question number four, white lights or colored lights? This is another one that it's both. I, <laughs> when I was growing up, we always had colored lights. So then when I got older and started to have my own Christmas decorations, I thought that the colored lights were old fashioned and so I wanted the, the white lights. And so I had those for years, but then it kind of came full circle and I started thinking of the, of the colored lights as festive and fun. And now I have a little bit of both. We have our outside lights up and my husband put those up. And we have some areas where we have white lights and then we have some colored lights. The lights on our tree this year are the colored lights, but I think last year we had the white lights. So we just kind of go back and forth with it. Question number five, do you get excited for holiday gift sets? I didn't really so much this year. I did last year. I don't remember how many I got, but I think I got three or four different holiday sets last year from brands that I knew I liked and I wanted to try some different products from those brands. And I think that that's when the holiday sets are the best is if it's a brand you know you like, but there's some products you haven't tried yet. A lot of times those holiday sets, if they're, if they're a good value, you can kind of price them out and see. That's a good way to try something new from a brand. 
I saw several last year that got me excited and I really enjoyed those. But this year, nobody really put anything out that, that tempted me. So the only holiday set I got was from Jordan Samuel Skin. I got one of his, I actually got his choreographer set, which was one of everything in his skincare collection. But I already use all those products and love all those products. And it was 30% off if you bought the holiday set. So it was just a good deal for me to get that one. That was the only one I got this year though. Number six, make ornaments or store-bought. Um, I'm not crafty, so I do not make ornaments. Um, they're store-bought. I do have a lot of ornaments from over the years that my boys made when they were in school. And of course I saved those and I put some of those up on the tree every year. Those are, those are more for sentimental value. And I just, I love having those. Those are, those are precious to me. But as far as what I do, I, I don't make ornaments. Definitely store-bought. Question number seven, do you peek at the presents or like to be surprised? I used to be really hard to surprise. I could almost always guess, um, figure out what someone had gotten me, but my husband now, he's the master. He surprises me every time. I never know what he's come up with and I love the surprises. It's, it's so fun to just to, get that initial, see what he did, see what he got. So yeah, I, I love surprises now. I don't try to figure it out anymore. I don't try to peek. Don't try to shake the boxes. I just wait and see what he came up with. And it's always something great. He knows me so well. Okay, question number seven. No, that was seven. Number eight, use wrapping paper or gift bags. These days, I pretty much always use gift bags. I used to, when my boys were little, I used to take the time to carefully wrap all the presents, but it wasn't anything I really enjoyed and I was never really good at it. So now I just put everything in gift bags. I think it's just fine that way. There's so many cute festive gift bags around and I'm not, I don't have the time or the interest in wrapping anymore, so gift bags. Question number nine, favorite holiday movie? Mm, there's a lot that I love. I love Home Alone. Um, I love Die Hard. Yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. I love that movie. Both versions of Miracle on 34th Street, A Christmas Carol, A Christmas Story. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. If I had to name one as my absolute favorite, I'd say it's, um, it's A Wonderful Life. I love me some Jimmy Stewart. Okay, question number 10. Favorite holiday song? Oh gosh, here we go. I love Christmas music too. So I love all the old traditional Christmas carols that we sang when I was growing up, like Away in a Manger and Silent Night and Deck the Halls. And I like all the traditional Christmas music, like um, White Christmas. And I like a lot of the newer stuff too. If I had to name one, I'd say it's probably Oh Holy Night. If it's someone that has the voice for it and they really belt it out, that song can give me chills. Question number 11. Dress up or dress down for Christmas dinner? We don't really do Christmas dinner. We just kind of nibble all day on Christmas. Thanksgiving is our big dinner for the year. But I do, I do dress for Christmas day because we go out um, I don't dress up really fancy though. I wear, um, I wear my makeup, try to wear something festive, festive top, maybe a hat and scarf or something like that. But, um, usually it's with jeans and flip flops. So, so <laughs> it's kind of California casual for me. Um, but I, I do dress, I do my makeup and, and, and do try to get cleaned up for a festive, festive day. Let's see. Number 12 favorite holiday tradition. And this is why I, I get dressed for Christmas. We moved to California, to San Diego in 2006. And the rest of the family had already come out, but my, my younger son, who was still, he was a freshman in high school, and I, we stayed in Kentucky until he finished the semester of school, of his freshman year in high school. And he had to have his finals before we moved. 
So we didn't leave there until like December 21st. We drove out, drove cross country, which was an amazing experience with my 16, well, 15 year old son at that time, 15 year old son. It was, well, was he still 14? In 14 year old son at that time. We drove cross country together and it was an amazing experience. But we got here in San Diego on Christmas Eve. So the first thing we did on Christmas Day was walk on the beach. So that's been my tradition since I moved to San Diego in 2006, Christmas 2006. So the last, this will be my 13th year. Um, walk on the beach Christmas Day. And the last seven or eight years, we go to Hotel Del Coronado, which is this beautiful old Victorian hotel on the beach in San Diego and they decorate it to the hilt on Christmas. It's Victorian Christmas decorations, it's just gorgeous. And then we walk on the beach, maybe get a, a hot drink in one of the bars or restaurants in the hotel, and that's our tradition on Christmas. It's last year, I thought it was gonna rain, but it cleared at just the last minute. I would have been out there anyway, because I just love that tradition. Walking on the beach on Christmas day is one of my favorite things about living in San Diego, so. Definitely a new family tradition, new Christmas tradition for the past 13 years. Question number 13, do you set New Year's resolutions? I do, but not the way I used to. I used to sit down and write out New Year's resolutions and, and then promptly forget them the second or third day of the year. Now what I try to do instead is just kind of refocus, refocus on something that I've already been trying to focus on, like, you know, working out, you know, um, organizing better, whatever it happens to be that I'm, I'm focusing on the rest of the year already, I try to just regroup and refocus and, you know, reflect on those things and try to get back on track with them if I've kind of gotten off track. So yeah, I do make New Year's resolutions, but not, not something that I haven't already been working on. I don't think that works so but I do buckle down on things that I'm already trying to do question number 14 do you stay in or go out for New Year's Eve stay in I was thinking about this earlier when one of my friends was making her reservations she goes out every year for New Year's Eve to a hotel downtown San Diego I was thinking I don't I don't think I don't think I've ever gone out on New Year's Eve ever uh, maybe when I was in my early 20s, I went to some New Year's Eve parties at friends' houses, but I think I pretty much always stayed in on New Year's Eve. You know, watch the shows on, on um, TV, watch some movies, some traditional kind of... Usually, it was always when I was growing up, you watch scary movies on New Year's Eve, and, and so I still kind of like to do that. I don't know why that was a tradition in my family, but it was, and so I still maybe try to do that. And Yeah, that's it's definitely stay in. Okay, last question. Question number 15, tag people. The problem with that is, I don't know who's already been tagged on this video because I'm kind of late to the game. I know a lot of people have already, a lot of the people I watch, a lot of my good friends have already done this tag or have been tagged. So I don't want to repeat people. So what I'm going to say is, if you're watching this video and you have a channel and you haven't been tagged, I tag you please consider doing the video. I'd love to see it and let me know if you do so I can go and watch your video. I'm gonna link below all of the tag videos I mentioned at the beginning. They all are fun to watch. Everyone answers the questions a little bit differently. It's, it's fun to see how different, how people can answer the same questions in a different way. And then if you don't have a channel and there's one or two questions that you liked in this tag, then please put those down, your answers to those down in the comments below. I'd love to hear those too. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, the subscription button is at the bottom alongside the notification bell so that you'll know when I post new videos. Bye for now.